What's up, YouTube? Not with Team Fear. We're back today, going over uh, some new cards that got leaked just today, maybe yesterday. Um, some new Kagura stuff, just because I play Kagura, so thought I might as well talk about them. Um, most of these cards kind of got shown off in last Friday's, no, not last Friday, last Saturday's episode of Vanguard G. So I'm gonna go over them. So the first card is a Stand Trigger, because Kagura is totally plays Stand Triggers. Um, same as Dragon Dancer Nilda. So it is a 4K stand trigger. Uh, so it has two effects. First effect is Blaze. Um, Blaze, if you have more va vanguards, if you have more, not vanguards, more rear guards than your opponent before your vanguard attacks, um, your vanguard becomes blazing. Yo, 420 it. And it has a second skill, which is Gem Break 1, put it on the bottom of your deck. When you hit with the Blaze ability, uh, hits a vanguard. If your vanguard is blazing, you may pay the cost. If you pay it, counter charge 1, choose an opponent's rear guard, and retire it. So, this unit is not good. You're never going to play it uh, because of the sand trigger. If it was a crit trigger, then yeah, maybe you'd play it, but it's not, so you're not going to. The next unit is actually really, really good. Like, wow. Um, Jesus Christ. Um, th this unit, oh my, if it wasn't for a certain word on it, this unit would be next level broken, almost. So, his name is Dragon Knight Mubdi, Mubdi, um... He's great too, blah, blah, blah. So, he also has the blaze. In fact, every of the, all these cards with the blaze ability, so I'm not gonna go over that anymore. They all have the blaze ability. Um, so yeah. His skill is, uh, rear guard circle, jump break two, counter boss one. When the scene attacks, hits a vanguard. If you have a blazing blade master vanguard, you pay the cost. If you do, draw one card for each of your opponent's empty rear, uh, empty rear guard circles. <laughs> Also, during that battle, it gets 5k, it gets 2k power. So, um, wait, hold up, what? Oh, okay, I see, it's, it's a typo on, um, oh, okay, I see, um, it, it's, it's a weird typo. Um, so basically you have to counter blast one to get the on-hit skill, but you still get the extra 2k power. So your opponent has no rear guards, it, this thing gets 10k power, and if it hits, you can draw 5. It is... Insa oh my gosh. Um, so, yeah. So, this unit's, I, I don't even know where to start. So, yeah, um, the, fir the first thing that makes the unit amazing is, you mean thinking, oh, but it's Denver 2. Except for the fact that, okay, let's be realistic here. So, you're gonna Blade Master and you have the new Blade Master. Um, so, yeah. Both of them have a on retire um stride skill. Like both of them retire on stride. You already can get rid of you already get that from there. On top of that, we have this card called Dragonic Vortex Dragonute, who who ba ba uh like Dragonute basically but gets you Jumbreak two right away, like this is a sec in a second, so that the Jumbreak two that's, that's, pff, who cares? That's not even an issue. Um so yeah. And on top of that, I mean if you're showing if you're striding first Oh my gosh, um, this unit's, on top of the fact that you, um, you already get the skill of, um, you get the skill that, you know, you retire one on the stride, then, dra um, Dragonic, Dragonic, if it hits, you retire two, so it's already three, so you're drawing plus, you're already going plus three, oh my gosh, this card is so, I mean, yeah, it has to hit, but still, like that, oh my gosh, that's really, it's still really, really good, oh my gosh, um, if this thing said Overlord, oh my gosh, it'd be like, the rich are getting richer. Oh my god, this unit is a definite, you gotta run this card for any Blademaster. Um, what rare is this thing? It's a, and it's a rare, oh my gosh. Uh, wow. I mean, it, it's kind of better it's a rare anyway, because that means everyone's gonna have access to it that wants to play a Blademaster, as opposed to it being like a triple rare, and it'd probably be somewhat expensive. Um, but yeah, this unit's really, really good. Next, we have the new perfect guard, and it's kind of meh, to be honest. Um, so it's a perfect guard, and you know, generic perfect guard, when you card it with it from your hand, you discard a card, your unit can't be hit. It also has a blaze ability for some reason. I don't know. Um, I mean, I guess you can grab it when you ride it, when, um, you, like, on a on ride, counter boss one, soul boss one, tech top five for blaze, but... I mean, wh who's gonna run that now? 
And then it's uh, gem break one skill is if you have a copy in your drop zone, it gets 15k shield. They already kind of like they showed that off me. I'm like, oh, you you can have this as a 15k shield, and I can have this card if you don't like. Eh. Protector is still just better. <laughs> um, the unflip to Cogdo is just way more useful, in my opinion. So yeah, it's kind of not the great. We have the last unit, uh, the new Dragonic Blade Master, Dragonic Blade Master Cohen. So, um, its second skill, or I guess first skill, since I don't really count Blaze as much of a skill, is on stride. Counterboss one, choose an opponent's rear guard, kill it, then choose one of you, choose one of your units with the Blaze ability, and it gets 3k power. Um, so it's basically a slightly better version of uh, the original in that sense, where the original just killed anything. Um, when you strode for a counter boss one, this one gets your blaze unit an extra 3k power. Um, wow. Uh, that's actually kind of relevant though, because, so basically, uh, what's his name? M- Mudby, the, the, the broken card, he has blaze, so you can get him to 12k, and I mean, it, it, you're gonna, you're gonna have an extra, um, 3k, you're gonna have an extra, uh, 3, you're gonna have, you have like a boost, let's say you have a booster, so he booms, so he goes from 12, and 19, and then he already has the extra, um, 2k, so, you know, 21, he gets those, ma- he gets those magic numbers, or 22, uh, point blank, he helps get magic numbers, the 3k, it, it's, it's nice, I mean, it, it's something, um, they, they might, they could have done a little better, honestly, but, I mean, maybe even, like, if you have, like, two blaze units, you can kill an extra ear guard, like, Gurgurite or something, but, whatever, um, then it has another skill, it's gem break two skill is when each turn ends, if your opponent has no regard, choose up to one grade three unit with the blaze ability from your drop zone and return it to your hand. So you you basically ride this, discard another for stride, kill all the rear guards, get it back, rinse and repeat. Uh, it's it's kind of meh to be honest. Uh, the original blade master is a much better scale. I mean, yeah, it's only an extra five k in crit, but I'd rather have that than. Oh, but I mean, th- th- this has its uses, though, I will say. Um, if you can keep striding, this definitely does have its uses. It gets you back your stride fodder, which, I mean, yeah, Blade Master is kind of one of those decks, too, where if you, if you can't stride, your your turn's kind of wasted for the most part, so that that's pretty nice. But yeah, overall, those are all the new cards. Um, what, uh, th- This card right here, this card's freaking nuts. Oh, like, yo. I, I'm not gonna say it's gonna bring Blade Master to, like, better than Overlord, but damn, like, this is still a really good, this doesn't take away from the fact that this card is still really, really good. Oh my gosh. But anyway, this has been Not Too Size KBF Team Fairy Tale, signing out.